<coughs> First time I spoke this morning. <laughs> Got a frog in it. Um, in my throat. <laughs> my mind's not there this morning. Good morning, guys. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really, really well. This is probably one of the main reasons why this is my favourite time of the year. Look at that sunlight. The trees. Can you see up there? The leaves on the floor. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm starting this morning, this week actually, it's Monday, starting this week afresh with a nice long dog walk. I've taken Barney to um, a place where he gets to have a nice swim. And yeah, it's like fairly pathed. So I've got my kind of nicer walking outfit on. I had a bit of time this morning. I was up really early. Um, I don't know why, in fact, I do know why. It's probably because I went to bed at like 20 past nine last night <laughs> very early but we went to a christening yesterday and oh lovely he's been in the swamp <laughs> just great anyway we went to a christening yesterday it's like a christening and a first birthday so lots of kids lots going on um we ended up staying there for a few hours and then coming back home well we actually went over to tom's mum's then and just had an afternoon with her and she cooked us the most delicious moussaka amazing and then yeah we got back about um about eight o'clock and then we watched the russell brand dispatches documentary i'm not going to even go into that in here <laughs> on here but it was still worth a watch anyway so we did that and then um yeah and then went to bed soon after that so yeah i was up nice and early this morning i thought i'd get out or get a bit of makeup on in the morning which i don't usually do get dressed showered for the day and then yeah head out for a nice walk which is what we are doing i hope you can hear this and i hope it's not all windy this footage and i have to cut it all out fingers crossed it's not because i have got a little microphone on this camera but um <clears throat> yeah anyway so that is the start of my week that is my start of my monday gosh <clears throat> still got a frog in my throat in other news i hear maths starts tonight which if i'm being completely honest with you i've tried to watch it in the past but i feel like i'm gonna give it a go this time because everyone raves about it it's reality tv which i love and i just feel like i want to give it a go but i think my problem in the past is that i've kind of because it's on every night i've let it um play and play and play and then i have too many to catch up on and i just don't commit to the catch up so if i try and keep up to date with it then maybe i'll get involved so yeah i it'll have been on a couple of nights now for you guys but are you watching it let me know i will start it tonight and see what i think what else am i doing today i've got invisalign appointment later on this evening i've got so i'm on the invisalign light i think which is i think that's what it's called it's 14 trays 14 weeks i'm on tray eight at the minute so i've got to go and pick up another six and then i'm done hopefully um so we'll see what the dentist says about my progress barney come and see if he's happy with the progress so far so i've got that appointment tonight i've got what else have i got i've got a zara order that's arrived which i might as well show you in this vlog as well i do want to say actually i started the morning with a bit of a bit of a negative because well and positive i'm, gonna, I'm not going to shine a light on the negative i am um, i woke up this morning like i said nice and early and so i thought i'm gonna Go on my phone i didn't have a chance yesterday whilst i was at the christening all day i'm going to respond to everyone's comments on my sunday upload and there were quite a few obviously loads of positives so thank you to all of you guys for commenting each and every time i upload lovely comments just it means the world but there were a few negative in terms of my overconsumption and my amount of hauls that i do and i appreciate where people are coming from and i'm all for constructive con criticism but there were quite a few comments that were like really, I don't know, negative. Negative Nancy. I didn't like it. Wanna go swimming? We'll go this way. I think he'll want to swim. Come on then. Is he gonna jump straight in? I have to throw this little stick. That's the only one I can find. Oh, he's in. <laughs> he's in. The gold. <laughs> Come on. 
So anyway, I don't want to like, I hate highlighting negative comments because I don't want to bring attention to them, but it's just, sometimes I feel like a quote that I listened to on a Stephen Bartlett Diary of a CEO podcast was, if you can be anything in this world, just be kind. And yeah, so that's all I'm gonna have to say about that. <laughs> I appreciate that what I do can come across as that, but I still do my part and this is my job. And another thing was ads on my YouTube channel. I know the majority of you totally understand, but to do this full time and to create the content that I do for you guys for free, I have to somehow make it a job and make a living from it. And through working with brands, which I'm so grateful to do, that is, that's what, prov that's what allows me to provide these videos for you guys. So if at any point within my vlogs, whether it be the hauls, whether it be the more chatty vlog parts like this, whether it be the ads, whatever it may be, like if you don't want to watch it, just don't watch it. <laughs> just skip forward or come back for another video. Like if it really upsets you that much, just don't watch it. <laughs> just do not watch it. Anyway, run over. Um, so many of you were lovely so I did respond to every single comment in that video because I spent a good hour doing that and it made me feel better seeing all the positives so thank you to you guys for leaving the nice comments that you do and to the rest of you just don't watch anyway it's a new week it's a new day I love a Monday I feel like if you don't love your Mondays you need to switch up your routine because I love a fresh start. I feel like it's a rejuvenation. This is why I love seasons. I love seasonal changes because it feels like a fresh new start. Oh, are we going through this way? We'll walk through this way. Um, gosh, look at all the trees. They're so pretty. Can you see all the leaves falling? There he is. <laughs> Chasing squirrels. Come here, munchkin. No, nope, he's off. Tell you one thing for free though. Barney, come on. It's like literally just sprinting off, he's going mental. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing for free, it's it's not that cold. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be quite cold this morning. But no, I'm uh, getting a bit a bit hot under the collar. I might also do some baking today. I'm feeling in the autumn mood. Do you know what, what else I want to try as well? I'm, I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog because I tried um, a Starbucks iced pumpkin spice latte. I want to try the new Costa, is it maple hazel latte? I think I have had one before. Did they not bring it out last year? I feel like it's not that new. Come on then, mister. <sighs> Guys, if you do anything today, just get outside. Get the fresh air. Makes you feel alive. Rain or shine, I don't care. There's no excuse if it's raining. Still get out. In fact, I actually quite like the rain. <laughs> Walking in the rain something quite liberating about having all your waterproofs on and it's raining but today is my ideal day maybe a couple of degrees cooler but the sun shining the leaves are falling the mist on the ground <sighs> sending my happiness to you guys dog walking outfits Adenola, Primark, Lulu, New Balance maple hazel in hand I've just got back home and yeah let's give it a little taste test shall we I haven't had my breakfast yet I did just pop out and get some crumbish you might be able to see is the boxes behind me I'll show you those are bits in a sec um but yeah let's give it a try shall we maple hazel latte oh that is sweet <laughs> I did get a decaf Wow, this is a medium size. I feel like 
I wouldn't need any bigger than small. I feel like, because it's too sweet. Way prefer pumpkin spice latte, I'm not gonna lie. It is delicious, but very, very sweet. Um, I also, I've just, because I've come up in my filming room, I've just realized Daisy Street, um, they're like a clothing company. They sent me some bits over and I wanted to share them with you in case any of you guys like the look of them, have never heard of Daisy Street before. I've got four items, but I thought you'd be interested in these because we love an, a like little dupe or look-alike here on this channel. This to me just reminded me so much of my Anina Bing t-shirt. I'll actually show you my Anina Bing. So Anina Bing, Daisy Street. Designer, expensive, affordable. So yeah, if you like that look, then maybe check them out. It says, West Virginia Mountain State, established 1992, which is actually the year that I was born. And then they also sent over um, this, which kind of reminded me of the uh, like sweatshirt that I just got from Abercrombie recently, that kind of graphic print type sweatshirt. Oh, I was gonna say, no wonder it looks small. It's a UK six extra small. So that's probably too small for me. Mind you, that is quite oversized already. T-shirt is in a large. This one is a 12, UK 12. Lake George National Park, New York. Again, established 1992. And last but not least in an extra large, UK 14. This St. Anton Alpine Skiing, Austria. I've heard Tom's just laughed. A few little bits from Daisy Street, so thanks to them for sending that over. I will um, share with you the other Zara bits later. In fact, I'll tell you what I haven't shown you yet on YouTube. I did it on Instagram, was the couple of bits from the Gemma Louise Miles edit that she's done within the style, which can I just say, stunning, cozy vibes. I'm just trying to think if they're in here or not though. Yeah, one second. I've got this dress in here, which is like a knit kind of like oatmeal colored dress she also sent me the um two i say two piece they come as separates but this gorgeous rich chocolate brown is so my vibe i love brown i feel like it's a lot less harsh than black so i feel like it's a lot more wearable and i think autumn season cozy chocolate delicious so yeah in a 10 to 12 again i got the cardigan nice and long and thick and cozy and then the dress that comes with it, it's like a high neck sleeveless short dress what else did they send me oh the two piece okay that's why i can't think of it because in the other room wow it's very dark i've probably timed that walk very very well and then this is this is the two piece this is the top and then the bottoms are underneath so it's just again in that kind of like oatmeal kind of color it is a slightly different color to the dress a bit darker so yeah i will show you the other zara bits later on but i wanted to um firstly mention a kind of like autumn wish list that i've been compiling starting to compile i have a couple of other things that i want to add to it in terms of my actual list itself i just have like for vision boards and everything i just use pinterest i find it's the most convenient place to just have all your visions and ideas in one area that's on your phone, so accessible, mobile, laptop, wherever you are, they kind of sync together if you've got a Pinterest account. I think my vision board is private and wishes and stuff. But I do have public boards for like my home, all the different rooms broken down onto all the different rooms for like my kind of inspo for when I was doing the renovations for this property. I thought I would just mention a couple of things that I have added to my autumn, winter, autumn wish list kind of broken it down into two parts in terms of one being the pinterest visual imagery but then also a section which i just have on my notes on my phone of more of like a to-do list of things that i want to do throughout autumn the first and this by the way isn't stuff that i'm definitely going to get it's maybe inspo for things i want to look for more affordable alternatives for or kind of have on my wish list for a week or two and then if i still want it then then maybe look to purchase but um, first and foremost is, I never know how to pronounce this brand, is it Sh Shuffle? Shuffle? One of the gilets that they do, fleece gilets. I really like the khaki version, but they're kind of like a piped gilet, very country aesthetic and style. And I just feel like, for me personally, it's one of those items that's actually quite a nice practical purchase as well. When it starts to get cooler, like really cold, I always find a gilet, if you've got your body warm, your limbs are fine. Worth the investment, who knows? I think Amazon do more affordable dupes, so maybe I'll look at them first. And then speaking of maple, I got like an email notification from 
a brand that I love. They're based in Manchester called Beaumont Organic. And I have seen a couple of pieces in TK Maxx before because they are, again, the more higher end price point. But there's a dress that I got sent on one of these like kind of email send outs and it's called the maple cotton linen dress. I just, when I saw it, I was like, that is beautiful. A real nice transitional piece as we get into the cooler months, but one that you could layer up underneath. So if you want to look nice in a dress and it's still quite cold outside, just pop some layers on underneath. One thing I am after is, and one thing I want to purchase sooner rather than later is a waterproof lightweight coat. I had one for, I mean, I bought it before Barney, was here so like say from his puppy days so he's nearly three it'll be three in november so almost three years i've got use out of this jacket and let me tell you when you have a dog and you go on a walk every single day usually twice a day for around one to two hours a day that's what i do with barney then it does mean that quite often you're caught in the rain i like the idea of it being lightweight so if it's warmer you can still wear it if it's raining and then into autumn and winter just layer up with like jumpers and hoodies underneath so if anyone has any recommendations another thing that i have my eyes on which actually i have ordered some yesterday i ordered them so hopefully they might arrive today um if they do again i'll show you those but some leather knee high boots now i got some from and other stories they were very much an investment piece but again for the majority of the year in the uk we do have weather wear boots are the appropriate foot choice so i just thought to get a nice pair aside from my walking pair like this is a completely separate purchase this is a dressier purchase going into town shopping christmas markets you know they're flat so hopefully they're going to be comfy when they arrive i'll let you know i've ordered this particular style which i've seen styled up quite a lot with different outfits that i just think look so nice like with jumper dresses midi skirts and jumpers even just leggings and a nice jumper so yeah hopefully i'm keeping my fingers crossed that because they're an investment purchase, I'm gonna love them, I'm gonna have them forever, and hopefully they'll be comfortable. So I ordered them. I did also pick up from, and other stories, so again, if they arrive in time, I'll show you them, some more Vasia trainers. Now, this was actually a repurchase. Mine were past the sell by date, worn to death, and I really could do with it. There's no scrubbing, cleaning, or anything that can save them. So it's time to part ways with those. They're about 150 pounds, and cost per wear, I've really got my cost per wear out of them. So I decided to repurchase the exact same shoe because I wore them that much, and also a secondary pair from Vasia, which are more of like a casual, chunky trainer style trainer, which, yeah, again, if they, arrive and are comfortable I will show you them and let you know how I get on with them that's that and then one other fashion-y item like clothing item that I have on my autumn wish list is some kind of striped knit cardigan jacket now this is like a huge trend that I've been seeing going around everywhere and I don't know if it's me or not but I want to get one and try because I do love the look on other girls I feel like it's a real classic timeless doesn't date kind of cardigan jacket whether or not i go for a striped one or not i don't know but i keep looking up because honestly i'm looking out this window and just the trees and the dark sky is just making me feel so cozy so that's why if i keep looking up i just realized i barely even looked at you in the camera i've just been looking at the trees that's like my kind of autumn fashion wish list now i've got a to-do wish list as well of a few little things classics autumn for me is the time to start a harry potter marathon i feel like one every other weekend leading up to christmas something like that is just the ideal so starting the harry potter marathon in patch picking now we went last year and took barney and it was the cutest thing ever some kind of host halloween night whether it be with a friend a couple of friends whether it be with couple friends some kind of hosting whether it be snacks drinks for a couple of hours whether it be a cozy movie night but host some kind of halloween do i feel like that would be really fun a couple of books on my wish list of books that i want to read verity by colleen hoover i've got it already and it's next on my list of non-fiction books that i want to read no fiction books that i want to read in terms of non-fiction diary of a ceo um book that i showed i think it was in my last vlog that i ordered from amazon i've nearly finished um manifest by roxy nafusi i think that's how you pronounce her name and she's got the second book delve dive deeper i think it's called which i'm tempted to buy because i've really enjoyed reading this first one it's quite an easy read like quite 
easy to get through it. And another thing I might order book-wise, the rain has started. Can you hear it? I'm not sure if you can, but anyway. Another book that I want to maybe potentially read is the third book for The Summer I Turned Pretty. Now that I've seen the two seasons, I really enjoyed it. It's not my typical genre or type of program that I would go to for for to watch, but I really enjoyed it. And I kind of want to find out what happens now. So I kind of want to maybe read the third book before the third season comes out. But let me know if you have done that, do I have to read the first two books? Because I feel like I've heard that the books are quite different. A couple of other classic things that I want to do, bake more, so hopefully we'll start that today, do a bit of autumn baking. Make homemade soup as well. I feel like one of my favorite dinners, like evening meals for, when I say dinner, that for me is evening. Is that lunch for you or evening? For me it's evening. So dinners, evening dinners, um, one of my favorites at this time of the year, as it starts to get cooler, is homemade soup with a cheese toastie honestly delicious. Another thing I've been doing recently that I want to continue on throughout autumn is a kind of journaling a bit more and especially gratitude journaling. I find it really good for the mind and I've, I feel like throughout, since starting therapy and doing more, a lot more regular meditation sessions, I, I try and do it daily if I'm honest with you, even if it's just five minutes of breath work, deep breaths, or a guided meditation on YouTube. I find them the easiest because I like to listen to someone kind of guiding me through it. It really helps reset me. And especially if I'm feeling particularly anxious, worked up, just to sit down, focus on your breath for five, 10 minutes, guided especially if you feel like you need that extra voice, and just afterwards to just maybe grab a journal, just a Treat yourself to a brand new journal, whether it just be a plain notebook, a lined notebook, a guided journal, just something to just be able to just jot down, just scribble, make notes. So I've got a couple, I've got a couple of guided ones and then I've got, which I do every single day and have been doing for, I've got a five year one and a three year one and I've nearly finished the three year one, started them at the same time. So nearly three years. Um, and then I've just got a plain linen notebook that I've just, I just kind of follow journal prompts or do daily entries with just how I'm feeling or a list of gratitude, things that I'm grateful for. So there's kind of three sections to gratitude. I was reading about it. So you've got like gratitude for yourself. So that might be just telling yourself I'm grateful for the legs that allowed me to take me for this beautiful morning dog walk, something about yourself. And then the other section is grateful for or gratitude towards your life, your existence, your kind of like people that are in your life. So for instance, it or like work, it might be, I'm grateful for the job that I do. I love this job, it is my dream job. I'm so, so grateful for it. And then the kind of third section is more about like the earth, the nature that surrounds us. So being grateful for something like that. So it might be, I am grateful for the flowers that bloom every spring or I'm grateful for the rain that allows us to have cozy nights in and hydrates the grass on the ground. Do you know what I mean? It's just gratitude towards, I know a lot of people will think it sounds airy fairy and I just think there's, th this is where it stems into what I was saying to you earlier. If you can be anything in this world, be kind. And that's not just to other people, but it's to yourself as well. Look at me going all deep here. But yeah, this since I've started my therapy journey, I have actually, stopped having therapy just last week I was due to have one I started having them monthly and I feel like for now anyway I'm more than open to going back to speaking with a therapist in the future the same one different one whatever I really enjoyed speaking to the lady that I had but I I do feel like what I can gain from those sessions in particular I have already gained now and it's about like putting it into practice and fearing facing fear but doing it anyway I think is the whole principle behind my particular struggles or reasons for speaking to a therapist and in, in terms of like I know I've spoken about it before but like feeling anxious getting anxiety attacks that kind of thing which don't get me wrong it's not like I never have those ever now I definitely do even like before the christening yesterday I was getting a bit like worked out but 
doing these practices like gratitude, meditation, moving your body, getting out in the fresh air, reading more, which is definitely something I've been doing a lot more, journaling, all of these things really help just reset your mind because ultimately mental struggles and feelings and thoughts like anxiety or depression or whatever it may be that you struggle with that arise all stem from an overactive mind an overstimulated mind that and it's like I say I always say this to myself I know it's I know I'm in my head but if I can help give my mind a pause and a reset whether I'm feeling anxious or not like I say on a daily practice I will do these things now it just all works together to completely shifting your mindset so that you don't kind of like fear these thoughts and feelings of like anxiety and overwhelming and blah 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 but instead you kind of just learn to ride the waves and to accept and allow and if you're feeling that fear whatever it is that you're doing that's causing that that to just do it anyway helps break down those barriers and kind of clears your path more and more each time to more where you want to be but anyway that's my little deep chat over i'm just going to finish it there or else i could just keep chatting about this forever but i need to put the bedding in actually that's the first thing i need to do because i want it to be fresh for tonight that's again another little thing that you're grateful for getting into bed with fresh sheets amazing so yeah let's do the bedding i'll show you those bits later hopefully my another story's parcel will arrive as well so i can show you my boots and my trainers too. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know. Yeah, I can tell that I feel. Because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us but I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I have to let her go She will never know na -na. Never know na -na. She will never know na -na. Never know na -na. She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass you may already know this and it may just be me but I feel like I just need to share it in case any of you had the same issue we did. So our dishwasher, let me show you on this, uh, I'll show you on this dishwasher. Basically we've got dishwashers that I thought the plates didn't fit and it meant that we awkwardly had to like put them in the wrong way round. Let me just take an example and this was a TikTok find by the way. This meant that if we stack them like that, the spinny thing caught on it. So we had to like stack them really awkwardly like this, couldn't get as many in. But it's as simple as this top tray. I feel like some of you will be like, yeah, duh. But I had no idea. Cut around the top, then you've got this one and then the plates wouldn't, it wouldn't spin with the plates there. So now all you do is pull it out, lift it up on each side and it stays higher so that you can pop your plate in the right way round and this spins round and fits perfect i mean if anyone had the same issue as us hopefully 
I've solved it for you. I can't tell you how disappointed I was when I found out that our dishwashers, our plates didn't fit in the dishwashers we'd ordered. I was like, oh no. Do we replace them? No, we'll just maybe get different plates in future, whatever. No, no, you just lift up the top tray and you're all good. Anyway, time to actually load the dishwasher, get this one going, and then I've got some more bedding to put on as well. Hello, Mr. Handsome Boy. Are you a handsome boy? Yeah. You so handsomes? <laughs> I'm boring you. Am I boring you? Anyway, these are the first pair of trousers that I've got from Zara. I've just paired them with like a basic white tee. This is just from a weekday on H&M. Also throwing my hair up because I'm. Um, Get a little bit warm. I get it out of the way so you can see the clothes that I've got. So, yeah, these joggers are like super soft, thick side legs. So I feel like they're quite a smart jogger. And then I've just put on the Vasia trainers with them. Okay, this is the jumper. I love the kind of like raw hem to this jumper. I love the color of it. The sleeve length is lovely. This is in a medium. This is the length of it. Cozy jumper vibes. This is so nice. I think they've got like a vest version in this kind of raw hem as well. Okay, next outfit that I've got on. I um, love all of these. I feel like this is going to be one of those Zara orders that I like quite a lot of things. But um, I don't know if I would wear this top necessarily with this outfit, this cohort. Probably just a basic white tee and these trainers again. But I just thought for the purpose of showing you another of the Zara items, I would put this top on with it. But I'll start with the kind of like bomber jacket. I really like how it's like a smart bomber. Everything that I'm wearing at the moment is a medium. Yeah, really nice. I don't usually wear bomber jackets, so let me know what you think of it on me. I think because it's a smarter one, it feels like, I feel like I could dress it up or dress it down. So let me just take it off and show you this top that I've got on underneath. You could just obviously throw the jacket on over the shoulder if you are going out and wanting the extra layer for warmth. So this next jumper knit thing that I got, I think I'm going to send it back because I feel like it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't sit quite how I imagined it would. The material of it I love. It's like a really nice soft knit, but um, it feels a bit weighty. I think this is probably the favourite thing, the most favourite thing I've come across so far. It's like a chunky, super soft, thick knit cardigan that's in a gorgeous beige that I just feel like again it's got that kind of exposed raw hem type thing and also down the back if you can see there's like one down the middle. I paired it with again jeans these ones and the blue ones that I wore are Primark and then the beige trainers again. I don't know if I said as well I got this one in a medium. Next up is this beautiful olive coloured knit cardigan. It's like a wrap style whereby it ties here. I get quite sensitive skin and I'd say the, the thread on this is a little bit too itchy for me. I'm trying to see what size I got it in. This skirt is the next item and I got it in a small. I love a satin midi skirt. I just find them so easy to throw on and dress up or dress down with just like a boxy white tee and some trainers like those Vaja trainers or paired with a belt like this one from Nueva. This is my reversible one, so it's black on one side, tan on the other. And some little pumps like these slingbacks which I got from And Other Stories. I feel like I'm gonna keep this one because I've got a black satin skirt that I've worn quite a bit already. So I think green, seems as though I do love green. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I think green will be nice, sorry. These are the next item or like bottoms that I got these trousers again just paired with the same trainers and a basic white tee But I actually think these are really unflattering. They're so comfy, but they are short and very wide So I don't know about these they had them on the model She had them with like a matching top and I just thought they looked so nice. I wanted to 
kind of like keep my eyes out for the matching top to come back in stock in my size but I actually think I'm going to send them back just because I just feel a bit like they just don't suit me these are bottoms I'm kind of unsure on I like again I like the idea of them I don't know if the fabric sits right on me but they're essentially uh, like a wide leg smarter kind of trouser in again this rich kind of olive khaki green which I am obsessing over I do actually like it the more I look at it and I'm like actually I do like these trousers I've also just paired them again with these little slingbacks these are great for like when you're wearing longer items like this you wouldn't know you could just be in heels like pointy toed court shoes right we're coming to the end of this haul now and I'm enjoying this jacket very much it's like a shirt jacket it is from the men's I quite often have a look at the men's um I think it's from the men's anyway I think so it's in a small to medium it's like one of those they either had small to medium or medium to large lovely color like a really nice warm soft gray and really thick as well nice and long as well so I've just paired it with leggings trainers this one's like a sweatshirt t-shirt kind of style so it's in the style of a t-shirt but it's a sweatshirt material i just looked on the order form as well and i've just reminded myself this is actually the matching top to the joggers that i tried on first this is what it looks like as the co-ord and this is what it looks like as a set i still think i would probably just wear this top with leggings because we know which of these is your favorite and don't forget i will leave all of the items linked in the description box. So I think I found the recipe that I want to bake. How gorgeous do they look? Apple crumble cupcakes from thebakingexploring.com. This is the recipe. And I think I'm going to follow it loosely. I'm not going to copy it exact. I'm just going to follow it loosely. Because I basically want to do is some kind of apple cinnamon crumble type cupcake. I think she calls it and puts some apple in the middle but what I think I might do is just use it for a little bit of topping and decoration and then pop the cinnamon as well within the buttercream. I do Asda to get the ingredients because, well I have some of the ingredients already but the rest of them, because I thought I would have a quick look at the new Stacey Solomon range whilst I'm there. I know loads of you keep tagging me in the photos. It seems to be really well stocked. I have popped in store already to have a look. I grabbed a couple of things but there are a couple of more things that I want to get my hands on. So. If I manage to find them, I'll show you what I get when I get home. But I, um, yeah, I thought I'd take the opportunity of needing to pop out to get some ingredients to also go and have a mooch at Stacey Solomon's range. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along I thought I would just sit down and share with you the Asda bits that I got from the Stacey Solomon range. I thought she really has outdone herself. It's very neutral vibes, very kind of white company dupes as well. So I did pick up a few bits to kind of um, go with our theme that we have throughout our kitchen of this kind of like bobbled edged dinnerware. I got this serving plate, which I feel like for hosting, these are just perfect. I think, let me see if I've got my receipt in here, 10 pounds. This one was also 10 pounds, but I got this smaller one, these roasters, um, the smaller one was five pounds. You could get like two of these and have them as like individual portions um, or put like an apple crumble in there or something. I have actually gone as far as to getting the dinner, the dining set as well, because the ones that I've already got, which I'm sure you guys will know, they're like bubble edged from TK Maxx. They've scratched really easily and we will continue to get our use out of them. But I thought it'd be nice to get a brand new fresh set for when we are particularly hosting and we meet, maybe need more than we've got, already got. And also the ones that we've got now I can use like every day whatever it doesn't matter but just keep using them and is that like a common thing with white crockery that you scratch it if it's cheaper i don't know but anyway i decided to get the 12 piece dinner sets you get four sets in here so i picked up two of them four dinner plates four side plates and four bowls it worked out at like 35 pounds or something lastly from the stacy solomon edit i got this little hand towel which I thought, yeah, guest towel. I thought that could look nice either in the guest bedroom or I was thinking more in the downstairs loo. And then I did pick up one candle from just the Asda, just normal Asda, um, and it's Woodland Walk. And it smells more like the wintry scents that I like, the pine, 
fresh trees oh, that that was five pounds and then these were on offer as well they were i think three pounds each from airwick these new scents that they've got now i've tried a pumpkin spice kind of scent in the is it air pure one of them and i wasn't really a fan but this one they, with the little testers on they had some testers out but it definitely the pumpkin spice it's called pumpkin spice and everything nice it definitely had more of a scent of like a cinnamony scent rather than like a sickly sweet scent i did also pick this one up white yeah see i thought this would be sweeter than it is it's sweet but it's quite subtle white cocoa and vanilla macaroons <laughs> So I've pretty much got all of my ingredients out ready to start baking. I have just got a couple of things left to weigh out. But yeah, we've pretty much got all the ingredients here ready to go. So let's start baking. Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back. Here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living In two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't ones on the cake stand in the middle of the island it's my pumpkin cake stand i got from tk maxx a couple that were a bit too big to fit in the cupcake cases i got again from home sense tk maxx same thing let's have a little taste test very cinnamony which i personally love natural cake recipe though super moist I know a lot of people won't like the word. And delicious. I don't know how good it is having sugar before you go to the dentist, but oh, I'm gonna go clean my teeth before I go. I always have to clean my teeth before I go to the dentist. I don't, like if people have a dentist appointment in the middle of the day, I'm like, how do you clean your teeth? If you're like setting off from work. But anyway, I've also just had Virgin River playing on the TV, which is just like the most coziest season. I started watching it last year and I remember really enjoying it and they've got a new season out, so. I've started it again just because I feel like I need that reminder but anyway that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed a cozy little vlog a bit of baking a bit of shopping a bit of all sorts within today's video but yeah thumbs up if you have enjoyed it subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>